Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The talk today I'll be giving is titled Mathematical Optimization of Railway Gravitational Lift Energy Storage. I will explain the model development, the application, and the solution strategy. I'm from the University of South Africa, and I'm a mechanical engineer. And this is the outline of the talk. I'll explain the research motivation, the modeling approach, and a discussion of the results and the way forward. So this is the abstract of the talk. Um, lift energy storage is essentially gravitational potential energy. You can either lift um, water and use hydrostatic um, potential energy, or you can lift rocks in a mine, or you can lift um, elevators in a building. So essentially, if there's any piece of energy that is based on a variation in height, that is lift energy storage. Um, the particular uh, case will be considered will be railways, where a railway goes up and down a slope, and that is a uh, distribution of um, potential energy. So in South Africa, um, the mountainous regions occur in the eastern part of the country and the rest of the country is fairly flat. And that's the topography. The Drakensberg is the central part of the country and it goes up to about three to four kilometers. That's the Drakensberg. And within the country is Lesotho. And Lesotho has a lot of water um, that South Africa uses for pumped hydroelectric storage. Um, South Africa has fairly a lot of sunshine, but most of the sunshine occurs in the northwestern part in the Kalahari Desert. So if there are any solar farms, it will mainly be in the western part and the northwestern part of the country. South Africa uh, does not presently have much battery energy storage solutions and existing tenders are basically unaffordable. It will cost about 11 billion rand or $642 million for 360 megawatts, and the country has energy requirements of about 38,000 megawatts. So the existing uh, storage solution is simply unaffordable for the country. Um, the issue is that the energy availability factor is fairly low. On average, our power stations produce about 67% of the power at any given time due to various maintenance issues. And with renewable energy, uh, as we all know, the sun does not shine all day and the wind does not blow every day. So roughly 20% energy availability factor. So the country has a major problem. Wind is fairly intense throughout the country, mainly in the coastal regions, in the southeast part of the country, in the southwest part of the country. So if we look at the map, solar energy would be in the northwestern uh, part of the region, and wind energy would be in the southeastern part of the region. And when we look at the topography, there are mountains in the southeast. Therefore, it makes sense to store the wind energy using gravitational lift energy storage. So this is the railway network in South Africa by Transnet. It has about 30,400 kilometers, and there are some electrical lines and railway lines in the mountainous parts of the country. So in principle, a gravitational LES could be used to store energy. This is the objective of the paper, is to formulate how to model the optimization problem. So this is a typical topography of a railway line. If we take a railway line in the eastern part of the country, we parameterize the length along the railway line and measure the height. This is a typical graph that we would get with the Transnet ne railway network. So how can we do the modeling? We assume that the amount of energy is proportional to the distance based on some proportionality factor. And the proportionality factor would depend on the magnitude of the gradient. And if it is flat, there's a constant k 
flat if it is a negative gradient, k when it's a negative gradient, if it's a positive gradient, k when it's a positive gradient. And then we choose amount of energy, we choose a distance, forwards, stationary or backwards, minus one, zero, or one, and then we have this model equation, and then we can solve that equation. We put in a small energy partition, we work out the gradient, we work out the distance, carry on with more energy, and so on and so forth. This is the conceptual workflow of how to extract the coefficients at the end of the day. And then we would work out the maximum potential energy, mg times the height, and we'd work it out in terms of a line integral. Uh, so we would want to maximize the potential energy. So we would have a certain amount of energy that goes into a wagon. Um, there would be many wagons, 10, 20, 30, along the railway. We choose the amount of energy that goes into the wagon. We work out the distance. It goes along the railway. And then we would work out the potential energy for each of the wagons and sum it up to work out the total potential energy with that equation. Then we would want to work out some constraints. Uh, the constraints, we would say the total energy the amount of energy that goes into each of the individual wagons must sum up to the total energy. The distances must not overlap. So if we move one wagon, it mustn't go over the other wagon and it must not go over the wagon on the other side. And then of course we would want to minimize the energy that is dissipated due to friction, if the mu is a coefficient of friction. So the co coupled system, equation one, equation two, three, and four, is a coupled Pareto multivariate optimization problem. So technically, you're maximizing the potential, and you're minimizing the energy loss. And that is a fairly complicated problem. To simplify to make it more solvable, we can disregard the energy minimization by assuming it is unavoidable. And then if we uh, avoid the energy minimization, we solve equation 1, 2, and 3. It is still nonlinear. The nonlinear problem can be done using a Monte Carlo simulation. So we choose a certain amount of energy from the wind farm. We break it up into stochastic elements. We put the energies into the different wagons and we repeat the process and we would work out the potential energy. And this would be the algorithm of how to do the calculation. We choose a number of Monte Carlo events, 50, 500. We choose the amount of energy. We randomly allocate the energy into the different wagons. We choose random directions we work out the total amount of energy and we repeat the process. Then we would have a system, 50 or 500 different energy plots. And then we would explore that dimensional space to work out the optimum uh, maximum potential energy. And that would be the actual numerical solution. The approach in the paper is technically feasible if we can quantify the coefficients that convert the amount of energy into a distance. The problem is that it is a high dimensional optimization exercise. However, uh, in principle, this can be solved using a cloud computing network. So to summarize, I have developed a mathematical model that explains how to formulate the nonlinear coupled Pareto optimization for a lift energy storage system in a mountainous region. The model is an algebraic based model. Uh, if the coefficients can be extracted, we don't need to solve Newton's equations uh, using a Lagrangian equation approach. It can be developed using a Monte Carlo simulation approach. And the idea may be used to incorporate renewable energy using railway networks. And the problem or the limitation is that the idea would only work in electrified railway networks. 
However, existing railway networks could be converted with overhead line cables to transmit the electrical energy. That is the end of the presentation. I thank you very much.